Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today we're going to do part two of the page we're doing in Mythographic Enchanted Castles. We're working on this one here. Part one was the background bit we did here. And then we're going to work on the inside, uh, inside background piece. <laughs> I've picked out, um, since we're working in multicolored pencils, I picked out a couple of polychromos and a couple of of the color soft I couldn't find one that I wanted to use in the um, drawing ones but we're gonna bring in the drawing uh, white Chinese white color to brighten it up around the edges so we're gonna start off on um, the outside with anthrodine um, blue which is a really dark blue almost purple color we're adding in Delft Blue, which is also got purple tones into it. And then we're going to go into Ultramarine with the Color Soft, which is a light um, blue color that blends really well with the Delft Blue. And then Pale Blue, which is like one shade off of the Ultramarine, so that's our lightest color. Drawing Chinese White will be the white that blends in with the Pale Blue. So. <clears throat> so that is how we're doing this whole page is inspired by um, coloring with Aline and we are using uh, her original um, blue combination up here and then I blended it down to a green combo that I picked that followed her uh, example of pencils so mixing the polychromos with the color soft and the drawing pencils so I did my own green down here, and now we're going to use the set that I decided to do a purple -er color on the inside. So it's going to have the blue, a green, and a purple coming in. And of course, our little um, daffodils hill will be colored in uh, kind of gold and orange colors, which I'm going to draw all those colors into the books into the roofs of the building so that is how it's going to stay a little bit cohesive although we're changing all the colors basically around here <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and get started on the um, inner background here when we're going to first start off with the indetherine blue that is two four seven i am probably mispronouncing that like crazy so I'm going to bring that down all the way around, even down in here, to make this a darker area, and leaving our lightest portion to be kind of a glow behind the buildings. Now there is no moon or anything in here. It is, I could put one in, I just don't know where I would do that. Probably on this side for some reason there's more space over here and that would probably bring it up so let's see what do I have that's semi round and a good size um, that would probably work let's see we take it in with a light blue We'll see if it's a um, good enough size here. We'll just trace around it and hope we don't go into too much stuff. That'll work. You can barely see it. We'll go behind there and it'll go behind here. There, we have a moon. We're going to bring it down to there. <laughs> Why not? Okay, so... Uh, get them in the right order so I do not pick up something out of sequence. I'm going to bring you down so we can get a better look at that. All right. We're going to go on the outside of this area. And we're going to avoid the stars. Thank you. 
might need a sharper point on that. There we go. So we can get right up to the edge of those stars and we're going to leave them white. Hopefully. If you notice, I did go over a lot of that when I was working on it. Some of it will erase, some of it will not. So we will probably go over that with something that can cover up the blue or use the blue as a shadow. All depends. We have these little bubbles coming up, so we're going to leave the bubbles alone. But if I find anything in the background um, that represents a like an arrow or a button, what else was a back here that I didn't uh, care for? I'm going to color that over probably uh, with whatever color I color the moon, and the button's going to be totally covered up with the blue. I don't mind these things in here, but those are going to mess with me a little too much. So I don't mind covering them up. They're just going to be colored the same color as the background. Okay, so we're just going to bring that out a little bit. Make it as dark as you want around the edges. And we're going to be going over it again so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> and see how we have that little bit of purple in this pencil compared to the blue up here. And then up at the top, we're going to go across here. And bring that down. So how's everybody doing? Hope you're all doing well. This will probably be um, the last part of this since it's Friday and I have the weekend um, kind of full. I might be able to get back to it on Sunday, but tomorrow I have a football game to go to, so that'll take all day. Then, um, well, Sunday morning, you know, we take that off. So, I'm not sure. Probably be Monday when we get part three. Depends on how much I can get done today, which probably will be this background. <laughs> I chose to do it in pencil because I wanted to, uh, one, see if I could follow doing the um, mixed pencil thing, which is kind of a fun thing to do. And I also sometimes just feel like doing a whole entire background in pencil, and it, it's fun for me. 
Okay, we have a bit of this which is going to go away. Looks like a tape measure or something. And we're just going to color over it. You probably still see it through the pencil, which is fine. It's kind of meant to be there. I just don't want to color around it. Okay, around the edges we're still working, so... I have to decide if I want to bring the green up through here, so I'm going to just go down to that point. Same kind of thing on this side. Okay, next color is the uh, Delft Blue. We'll just start up here. that going over the other color and make it even a little bit more purple. I'm sorry, I gotta keep turning the book so you can see and I can see and I keep missing that part up.
Okay, we'll bring in a little bit of the um, ultramarine here so you can see how this is going to change again. So we're going to bring blue back into that purple. Still looks a little sloppy, but that's okay. We're going to go over it a few times. Then we're going to bring in the pale blue. Okay, then we go back in with their other colors. So I'll work on this little section here so you can see how it's going to get put together. We'll go back in with the original colors first, the dark blue, and bring it where we want it.
Okay, then bring in the Delft Blue. bit of the ultramarine in here. light pale blue it's not light pale blue it's just plain pale blue <laughs> Back in with the ultramarine. Down in the corner here, so tiny bit of sharpening. And then I have to decide if I want that green, and I'm pretty sure I do. <laughs> so then we go back in with our light blue, which is pale blue.
Oops. Pressing a little too hard there. Just give it a little smush. I want it to be a little lighter around here, so I'm just going to bring in the white. sharpen that up a little bit. I want to be able to bring some of these light parts out, but I may do that with a whole bind white just so it stands out a little bit more. Just line that line up a little bit. And then anywhere I want deeper, I'll go back in with the dark darkest color I used there And if I want it any darker, I am pretty sure I can find a darker blue. In the color soft up here, we use the uh, indigo, and I'm going to see if that will just darken a couple spots here without having to bring in the black. I'll bring in the blue a little bit more in some spots. That's because I'm only going to put it in some spots. <laughs> which will help blend at the um, blue to purple just a bit better, I think. And as I said before, I am playing this whole page. Just blending colors together to see how they'll work. I like that. Just deepens it enough.
and just very lightly bring it over the white. There. I'm thinking that looks pretty good. I may just play with that. Um, blue to purple look there. Okay, I'm liking that, except for I think it needs like a little bit of a gray in there. Like this green has got a gray in it, and this blue has got a little bit of gray in it. So I'm trying to see if we have something in the drawing pencils that would have we have a Mars violet, but that's too pink. I have an ink blue, which might work, but there's not really any like soft lilac-y color. Which is what I'm kind of trying to avoid. I want a really soft blue. So we have this gray-blue that we used up here. a little bit. It's the um, Solway blue in the drawing pencil. All right, <clears throat> that works. So the other side's going to be done the same way, but I'll probably get it blended a teeny tiny bit better. <laughs> it's 
still think it needs to be bluer up there, but I mean, I'll do that off camera. We'll do that bit. Uh, let's see what else we can do here. The moon is going to be done in gray tones. So let's see, gray. I could bring the grayish greens up there. Um, ink blue would be a good one and uh, smoke blue and the Solway blue. I think those will, will work and we'll use those out of the drawing pencils. Where are they? Oh, well, that's interesting. I think I just turned on the TV set. <laughs> Got a remote control up here. So we'll turn that off. Okay, what did I say? Blues. Of some, some, oh, sorry, I did it again. Oh, okay. Um, hmm, there's a pencil in here that doesn't belong in here. Ink blue is what I'm after. Ink blue. Uh, smoke blue. That be you? Yep. I have grays in here, but the grays are warm grays, and the cool gray doesn't look very cool. It's a warm gray. You the cool gray? We'll try that. What are you? Your color soft. You belong over there, not in this bag. <laughs> okay, we'll try that for the moon. Uh, kind of gives us our greenish tones from down here, our bluish tones from up here, and then a gray from absolutely nowhere. <laughs> so we'll go in with the um, ink gray first and get some kind of like crater going. Okay, we'll just pick a spot. We have craters in the moon, so how about right about here? You know, cratery type thing. Um, probably one over here somewhere. Okay, then we'll bring in the smoke blue. And that'll work out well. It's a nice color. Do the shadows down there. And then our gray. Then we'll bring in our white.
Oops. Yes, I'm pressing hard. <laughs> I'm going to bring in a whole bind white into that mess. Line some areas. Side of that line whiter. And there we go. Moon. And let's see. I want to get that green down here. And my kitty is in here now, begging for pets. I gotta find my greens. This is the dark green. The gray green. Want that in here. That's the lightest green I had. that brought that up there and I'm gonna have to bring that up there the book should actually go through that that drives me a little nuts we're gonna bring some of this gray green up into this area here just so they blend like I blended them on the other side and that will work Green and purple go nicely together, too. <laughs> there we go. All right. Well, I think we might have time for a book. Okay, I happen to absolutely love the Loganberry and the Blackberry in the color soft, so I'm going to use that. Uh, the Loganberry in this book here, and then a uh, little cranberry to lighten it up in some areas. So I think I have to sharpen one of these. So we're going to start in with the Loganberry. And unfortunately, yes, I want to have all those little swirly whirlies in there, so I'm going to have to go around them all. is going to take some time. And then suddenly, you know, the books kind of go to here, I guess. But this book down here ends in this flower, which I don't like. Um, it's it's, it's got to be a really short book, but because it's wide, it's got to be as long as the other books here. So I'm going to bring it out a little bit before I get too far so I don't um, color something I don't want to color somewhere on my desk. I have a pencil. Honest, I do. Well, I'll just grab you. You've got a lead on you. And a ruler of some sort. Um... I usually have a ruler at my desk, but I was measuring something downstairs, and I took it downstairs. So all I'm looking for now is a sharp edge 
of some sort and you will work. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is a Patreon Pidden Club card from, <laughs> let's see, um, Annie's uh, Gerard's uh, shop. I, I got this little pin here and I got the matching um, black cat with the star and they're on my speakers. So I'm going to take the pencil and I'm just going to lay this down on the line here and I'm going to pick, oh, right about there would be probably, because I don't think if I brought it all the way out, you'd see it. But we're going to bring it out this way. So we'll start on the top and we'll bring it, boom, here. Then there's a second line here can bring here and then the baseline here and then the back of the book would be right about there okay and the books go this way so it would be coming back if that went here it would go right about there so it would go back this way at what angle take that angle bring it down there. Okay. Now that book is complete and if I go in here and color the um, green I would go to this area here and this area here upward. Okay. So now that book has got a base on it, which makes me feel better. It's a precarious little stack of books. Um, this, I think, is high enough. Well, I brought the green up there, so I might as well put the green in there. Yes, Cubby? Can you just give me a second, please? He wants a treat. Hold on. Sorry. Now I'll get back to the book I was working on. <laughs> Okay, now I can do one or two things. This is a little speaker. Do I want the speaker in my book? Not particularly. So I'm going to bring that line there. And I'm going to make that swirl come up to about here. Because we can use that as a swirl. Darken this area here. And we have swirls and, uh, let's see, little curls. So we'll bring a curl down here and color up in there. Bring the book over like that. Okay, that curl there, go down to that one. That curl can come this way, and that one can come upward. Something like that. Gosh, I don't know. Did you see any of that? I'm so sorry. Cat messed with me. All I did was color over that box. It's a speaker box. Then I just kind of drew a line in here, left the circle here. This is the other circle. I'm just going to color some of that in. Do a line across the top because this portion of that is going to go in with that part. And then we're just going to color the rest of this in. 
kind of lightly here with the Logan Berry. Then we have another circle, so it kind of matches. So there are two spots that we need shadowing and the shadowing is going to go under this book here and kind of in the back of this flower which kind of is going to help cover up this stuff. So we're just going to take it and darken it here. Under the book. Now, the little swirly things, we need to think if we want them lighter or darker. Uh, do you want them to be the raised part or the indented part? So you can, uh, you want it raised up like uh, some books have the part that you can feel raised. You would make those lighter. If you want it indented, you'd make them darker. I haven't made up my mind on that yet. Hmm. But since I want to bring the blackberry in, because I love that color too, I can make it darker. So let's see if those will go. Yeah, that'll be pretty. I have to get a really sharp point on that and use it very sparingly. <laughs> <laughs> because these will break on the tips if you use them too dark or too heavy pressured. So I'm just going to go around in these and go over the scroll work with the black raspberry. Well, it's just blackberry. Sorry. Black res blackberry. <laughs> so used to the uh, Prismacolors when I do those. But this is very close to that, so if you don't have Prismacolors and you have the color softs, this would work as a black grape. That's probably why I like it. So we're just going to go over these pieces. may have to go over them a few times because I will be using the um, Loganberry over it.
Okay. Now we'll see. Going over that with the side of the pencil. Leave our purple, but darken our red. Okay, now bring in the cranberry if I can find it. Getting anybody hungry here? Blackberries, cranberries. There we go. We're going to put a little uh, light, oh, deep red. Uh, I got to find it. Deep red. See if that'll brighten that up a little bit here. on the desk. This one. What are you? Scarlet. All right. Now the um, binding of the book is going to have to have some of that color in it. Let's take the We'll take the deep red, put it in here. Bringing in a little white.
and darken the side just a bit more. Okay, now I have to decide if I want to do this um, like in a gold and then have this with the red or if I want to do that in the purple. I think it would be good either way. It's going to have a binding on it so I don't have anything out for gold. Do I have a gold colored pencil? Color soft we have an ochre. 590. Looks pretty good, isn't it? A gold, if I can find it. Do, do, oak. Not ochre. Need an ochre. Cream brown. light sand ochre. Here we go. Okay, number one, the eraser. Take off the blue that's on the eraser and see if we have a line that I can create right up there. Because remember, we're going over a box. <laughs> Oops, we could use this end of the pencil, it would be a little nicer. Okay, that is just the ochre, and that makes a pretty good gold color. Break the pencil again, because I'm not really good at that yet. That's pretty. We're going to put it on the band pieces. Do all these books have bands? Um, yep. Okay, we'll put that one on that one too. You don't have a band because you're not showing. And we'll put it on these pieces there. Oh, it goes all the way down. And we didn't give this a bottom, so I don't think it matters. And yeah, I think that's good for that. If you want to darken it, just put a little brown on it. Okay, let's see. What do we got? That's a green. It's not a brown. Pale brown. I'm going to spill my tea. There is a downside of using a bunch of different pencils. So just put a little brown in the corners. Just to, or in the shadows. Give it a little depth there. Uh, the downside to using a whole bunch of pencils is I have a whole bunch of pencil cases out on my desk. <laughs> and I think something that's going to give pretty soon. There we go. Okay, that looks good. Don't use your hand. So then we can just run the uh, red back in there. So the... Um, put a little cranberry in here too. Just to darken that up, so I can use the cranberry in here. <laughs> and then our deep red. Oh, 
our loganberry. We're going to take in the whole bind white. Just put a little bit of highlight in there. Smear it around a little bit. But pages are going to be um, brown. not red so we want to take some of that out. Where's our little light brown we used? Pale brown. So we're just going to bring in some pale brown. We're not going to color all the pages. We're just going to bring in some of the brown where the lines are. Okay. You can also use this to make a better shadow under here. A little bit of that brown, a little brown in here. Okay, then we're going to add a little bit of white into the pages. Uh, make sure your white pencil does not have any other color in it. So you want white, just blend those. And then take one darker pencil, and I'm going to grab that in a poly. With a brown touch, something like a walnut, brown, and just bring some stripes in here. And add the white in again, because that might be just a hair dark. Sharpen that up a little bit and just add a little white lines. Like that. Okay, pages. All right, one book one half of the side of page over there. <laughs> I'm going to do something with that card here too. I'm not crazy about the card. So we're going to get rid of it. Where's that beautiful little green we had before? It's one of these. No, these are all blues. I had it here. You remember I was using it. That's a blue green gray. Okay, this is going to come up to where the book is. And then where's that little card I was using? The book comes across here. Pencil. So we're going to go across there. So that is where my green is going to go up to. a little of the dark green in there.
and the other one will make a petal. Okay, there we go. Let's try to get the um, red out of the book below because I'm not going to do another red book. Probably do this one in the dark blue. So why don't we do that while well, we've got all the blue out here. Blue, blue, blue though, not uh, it's the blue up here. So we'll be bringing that down onto this book. So we're going to go with, with the uh, dark indigo here. And across here. Bye bye, sock or booty or whatever you are. It's going away. Dark blue corner here. Shadow under here. go with the color soft. No, that's not indigo. I mean, it's a pretty color, but that's not the one I wanted. I'm going to erase that one out of there. Go back to the indigo in the, um, doo -doo, that's not indigo. Indigo is blue, 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 blue. Ultramarine. Pale blue, indigo. Okay. <laughs> there we go. This book now is going across here, so I didn't get any of the um, dark indigo in here, which I have to do. There we go. More of the color soft indigo and on the bottom. Okay. Indigo into here. Then it was, then it was, <laughs> um, the ice blue.
we have to do that portion too. Dark indigo. Indigo, color soft. And the nice blue. Indigo for shadow. to go in the polychromo. gold which was the um, ochre just down that side there we'll do that piece too there then a tiny bit of white wherever the white went just in this area Give it a highlight. And then the same thing with the pages, but just do them. And, uh, The browns just need to be a little bluer there. seeing what I'm doing down there are you brown in on the pages little walnut the other brown <laughs> and white All right, 
well, that's going to be it for today. And I will see you in the next one. I hope you're enjoying. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Take care, everyone. Bye now.